the central aspect of what I mean by assuming the center is Christians learning how to imitate the Lord uh, when he spoke with authority and not like the scribes. Speaking with authority it means that you don't say, pardon me, pardon me, excuse me for existing, and, and I'm sure I'm intruding, but I have a word from the Lord. It's more like John the Baptist coming out of the wilderness saying, I have a message from God for you people. And you actually believing that and having the message be straight out of the Bible so that it's true and you speak with authority and not like a scribe or a scribbler. I first thought of that phrase, assuming the center, when my wife and I visited St. Andrews in Scotland. And while we were in St. Andrews, there was a street preacher and I stopped and listened to him for uh, a short bit. He was orthodox and doing the Lord's work. But for, for all the people around him cared, he could have been a parking meter. They just totally, completely ignored him. But this was just a block away from the ruins of the castle at St. Andrews, where George Wissert was burned. And just down the street from the cathedral at St. Andrews where John Knox had come and preached. And when John Knox arrived in Scotland, he preached with authority and love him or hate him, you dealt with him. What I don't mean by assuming the center is a top-down seizing control, let's orchestrate a mutiny and write this thing. When we talk about taking in the town for Christ, we're not talking about setting up a row of howitzers on the ridge outside of town and dictating, okay, you're a Christian town now. What we're talking about is evangelism and persuasion and hospitality and inviting people to church. We're, we're talking about normal life together where we share the gospel. That's, that's what we're talking about. But there's a spiritual war going on. And many times unbelievers mistake that spiritual warfare language for actual hostility, actual martial hostility. And sometimes there are Christians who do the same. Knox was warned not to preach at the cathedral. The dean or whoever was running it said, if Knox comes here, he will be greeted with a six gun salute, the greater part of which will alight upon his nose. <laughs> <laughs> but he came anyway and preached and preached with authority. And the end result of all of that was Scotland participating in the Reformation. Knox walked into the cathedral as though he belonged there, as though he had every right to be there because he was going to deliver a message from God. And this is the church, right? <laughs> That's the kind of thing that Christians need to recover. Did God really write a book? Have we really read it? Do we know what's in it? Do, do these other people outside not know what's in it? Well, maybe we should tell them, and maybe we should, we should speak with authority.